Good evening everyone. It's Thursday evening. It's the 15th of February. I'm 70 years old and back someone asked me a very important question. It's been 33 years ago. That very important question is, what should be the nature of your relationship to your Creator? What should be the, na what should be the nature of your relationship to your Creator? First of all, do you believe that you're a created being or do you believe that you just spontaneously generated? Do you believe that you came from um, ooze or do you believe that you evolved from a monkey or some other species or that you were uh, transported down here from an alien or something? Do you believe that you're created? What is the definition of a creator? An entity that brings something into existence. An entity that brings something into existence. Isaiah 40, 28 says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. What should be the nature of our relationship to our Creator? Well, Creator is mentioned five times in the Bible. 1 Peter 4.19 Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to Him in well doing, in well -doing as unto a faithful Creator. Isaiah 43.15 I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Ecclesiastes 12.1 Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil day days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And then Isaiah 40.28, which we read a while ago, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, and that, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. <laughs> Romans one twenty five. they said, who, the Apostle Paul says, who <laughs> changed the uh, truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Well, this entity that brings something out of nothing. The Bible says in Genesis that God breathed in, into man the breath of life and man became a living soul. He created man in his own image. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created what should be the nature of our relationship to this Creator, is my question tonight. You know, people said, well, you need to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one who created all things. We're told that in Colossians 1, are we not? Colossians 1 says that 
to Colossians 1. Let's just go there for a minute. Chapter 1, Colossians. He says in verse... Um, Fifteen, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. He is before all things, and by him all things consist. By him were all things created. Well, we have been given this great word of God that shows us that the creator of the universe now has become our Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our King. Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Verse 12. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us in the kingdom of his dear Son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. Well, God is, a, is the creator. He sent his son into the world to save his people from their sins. And we have been given the gift of eternal life if we're one of his. And we serve the creator of the universe. He is our king, he's our lord. And creation is a result of Christ bringing something into existence. <laughs> you know, Romans 8.22, we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Mark 10, 6, but from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. We need to be reminded of that today, don't we? Romans 1, 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so they are without excuse. Well, let us never forget, we serve the Creator. We worship the Creator. We honor the Creator, not his creation. We don't worship his creation. We worship the Creator our Lord and our Savior. May the good Lord be with you tonight in a special way is my prayer. God bless.